the procedure that and I've learned how to do it back in 1999, 20 years ago. I can't uh, think how these 20 years have gone by. I can't believe you. <laughs> Learning outcomes of this lecture is to know the indications of different osteotomies around the hip, whether the rotation, vulgus, varus, or, com or combined combinations of these, how to plan degrees of correction by quantification of the deformity, and prerequisites for a successful osteotomy. The goal is to recenter the femoral head into the acetabulum. What the goal is this. طريقة على الفمر الهيد جوه الأستيتابل لأن في مشكلة في السنترينج أو في الفمر الهيد إنتو الأستيتابل. أنا بتدي بدي روتيشن أوستيوتومي and mostly is to treat increased femoral antiversion and retroversion is not very common except طبعا حالات السوفي وحالات اللي الكونجنتال كوكس أبار. نوع mostly what we see is antiversion which could be idiopathic. This should be treated surgically above the age of eight. When the deformity is causing cosmetic and functional disability, uh, and should be around 50 degrees of antiversion, or maybe 40 to 50, when the prone internal rotation is around 80 degrees. Where Dr. Zamil Amr Baltuti Sok, where that was like the middle of Craig's Craig's prominence test, this is how they present these children. You don't do anything at this age. He's too young to have anything done at this age. You wait until the age of eight or above when, when you start thinking of doing something. But my girls who are in Shoya ask them to avoid the W position and to avoid the prone lying. prone lying down during sleep. Yeah. And this is how he looks when you do the internal rotation. He's got 90 degrees of internal rotation. Increased femoral antiversion is also seen with hip dysplasia, and it could be seen also with the miserable man alignment syndrome associated with external anterior torsion. Sometimes they don't present with intoing, they present like this young girl with vulgar stress at the knee. The foot is straight, but there is vulgar stress at the knee. And this is also one presentation of increased femoral antiversion. And when you lie here on the prone on the bed, you see that the internal rotation is around 75 degrees. You internal and external rotate the leg with your thumb over the A, over the greater trochanter here. And when it's most prominent, the greater trochanter on the lateral side, you measure the angle between the leg and the vertical, as such. So the trochanter is very prominent on the lateral side, so this means that the neck of the femur is parallel to the bed or the horizontal. The angle is the angle of antiversion. The inserts you need for these procedures are two to three millimeter K wires, the appropriate triangles to measure different angles which you want to correct, the pediatric blade plates, and this is the gold standard in these things, the 130 adolescent blade plate, the 90 child and adolescent blade plate with an offset to medialize the shaft. And you can see that it's different than the adult blade plate where the profile of the blade is T-shaped, not U-shaped. And to show you in the situation that the zone of the Shams, in the profile of that U, the profile of that T, with the light available in Europe, is a cannulated system. And if it's T, there is a slot here, hot wire, the DHS, hot for men with blade. Because this instrument, without being cannulated, is quite technically demanding. It is not easy to, 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 to insert. While then, the exceeding chisels, which have the same size as this one, and this have, has the same size as the other two. Okay? Then you try to attack a seating chisel, every material of osteotomy. And a metal osteotomy, a metal seating chisel preparation or insertion, at play everything is moving all over the place. The female is intact. You put your track with the seating chisel, 
And then after that, you plan your stone, you do your stone, you, and you've got the track for your blade to go in with your plate. Okay? But I remember spelling dole able a prior to the osteo. In patient positioning is very, very important. I never use the fractional table or the traction table. I use an ordinary table. When ordinary table, the BS on the intertainment I am, is on the half feet supine, the total image intensifier, where you get an AP view like this. You get a view like this with an AP. When you the image of the image of like moves, I move it myself with my assistant, but the image intensifier is, is placed stationary in place. Haraj. If I'm on the killer, then I'm on the other side. Haraj. When I do a derotation of sturdomy, I'm still on the 130 blade plate. We could look at the in the Mukam and the Mayor to Marina now, or that Zawi from Sindar. You can do a Katush for Gadi and Killer, or now I'm not allowed to think that I never thought of it. But I'm going to push. بتخش الزاوية 50 درجة مع الفيلم. فبتحط جايد واير 50 درجة using this triangle. وبعدين بتعمل السيتنج تيزل بليسمنت بتاعك. وبعدين بتعمل الاوسيوتي بتاعتك تلف الرجل. طبعا هنلف الرجل قد ايه؟ هنلف الرجل زي ما قست في الكلينيكال تيست. اللي ايه؟ التروكانتريك بروبلمز تيست قست 30 قست 25 قست 40 زي ما يكون. هظبط على طول ان انا قست الكلينيكال. It is, it is very reliable, this test, and it almost, it's almost like what you do with a CT scan. If you guys remember CT scan, we got which is the result we do, there are values which are not reliable. But I'm not telling you that you can take problem with this test. I want to take the, the, the femoral antiversion down to around 20 degrees. And on normal, at street maturity is around average 16. فأنت هتسيب الكلام ده يا دول تري مودل بقى لغاية ما يوصل سكيب من الفيوز اللي ما تعمل عليها عند 10 11 سنة. الواير اللي بتتحط وان ان ذا بروكسيمال فيمر وان ان ذا ديستال فيمر وذ ذا انجل يو وونت تو كوريكت. واحد بروكسيمال واحد ديستال واستخدمت نفس المثلث اللي انت شفته قبل كده بالزاوية اللي انت عايزها سواء انتر او سبتوكالتريك اوستيوتومي وبعدين وان يو دي روتيت ذا واينز ار بارالل تو ايتش اوت. وبتشوف المنظر كده بيبقى رجل العيان لفه لجوه خالص دي الليفت لور ليب وبعد ما عملت كوريكشن بقت ايه ستريت الفوت بقت ستريت والوايرز بقوا بحالهم اوكي وده الامونت اوف انترنال روتيشن بعد العمليه اقل بكتير من الناحيه الثانيه طبعا ويو اونلي نيد سكين تراكشن مش محتاج يو سبايك يعني يقول لك ذيس از ا فيري فيري ستيبل امبلانت ده المنظر بوست اوبتيفلي يعني دي روتيتد وفي الحالات دي you know you don't lateralize well I medialize the shaft you have it you know, aligned with the proximal fragment well, it is much more reliable than using an ordinary DCP where you have only you know, two cortices well the cut that I meant to sit that way and the four cortices best and that's an I end up with some other you can change the blade plate you may have started the DCP that anterior angulation not more wood to the hip spike this is very stable. I can allow them yeah, to do non-weight belly mobilization in bed until around six weeks when they start to heal and then they can start weight bearing. But you don't need a hip spike. With that manzal you can have the amalaya, the range of internal rotation, with about the amalaya and this is around 50 degrees or not. The vulgus osteotomy and osteotomy number two indicated in congenital or developmental coxavara. Other causes of coxavara with neck shaft angle less than 110 degrees, they non-united, I'm sorry, non-united neck femur, a lot of tortoise. With the manza in the congenital coxavara, when they present with the hilgen rider, which is an angle of less, of more than 60 degrees, with that indication for surgery. I mean, 45 or 60 is debatable, but for 60, you have to correct it. The goal is to take down the hilgen rider, which is an angle to around 30 degrees, وده منظر العينين دول ده يو لازم كوكسفارا والسوبرا تو كنتيك شورتنج دي حاله بايلاترال اللي هي انجل 80 درجه بايلاترالي 
where next shaft angle is 75 degrees. And by thermal correction, you don't usually measure this next shaft angle. This is what you rely on, the Hilgenreiner Fizier angle. We've done one of the frog glasses in Tau, Dolby Mohammed's had to do a version, but we can have that symmetric hip rotation and full flexion, and we can see retroversion. When CT is coming by in a defective ossification, just distant to the Fizier plate on both sides. With that, the right hip in maximum adduction, and you can see that the head has not you know, sort of rotated fully inside the acetabulum. So there's a limit to what you can do even by surgical treatment. We started the start model with 130 blade plate, with a clitoral bundle with 150 darga on the shaft of the femur. The goal is to take it down to 40 degrees. Yeah, 40 degrees correction would be sufficient with the manila bait and the ligand line of the angle. If there is not shafin that left at the same dollar, and I is a main dollar, we are pushing the same. Okay? With the same, the plate will be sticking out here. If I had given the plate a la distant end of the field, this private of the femur, you've corrected this angle by 40 degrees. That is a bad one, so it's totally abducted to anatomy. The neck shaft angle went up to 115 from 75, and the Hilgenite to Zell angle went down to 40 from 80. When the health bone is osteotomy, you have to lateralize the shaft. Because if you don't lateralize the shaft, and this does not happen when you're using a DCP, whatever contouring, you can DCP, and you dig bulk in the ISO, you induce vulgar stress at the knee, and they end up with a bulge deformity. Mesopat and the blade plate there, and it helps you to lateralize the shaft so that you maintain a normal mechanical axis. Uh, then lateral is out. We deal by lateral, yeah, the, uh, both hips done. And so on, this improves very much the range of abduction in these children. In all the children, if coxavara is associated with hip abductor weakness, bad in osteotomy, you have to go for trochanteric apophysiodesis. And in adolescence, trochanteric overgrowth after bulbous osteotomy should be treated by distant and lateral transfer of the greater trochanter. The third osteotomy is the varus osteotomy. And you can see the difference between this plate and the other plate, the 130, because there's an offset, there's a medial offset. The difference between this line of the plate and this line of the plate. We'll measure that and offset that and it medializes the shaft again to maintain a proper mechanical axis, otherwise we'll get virus deformity of the knee. Indicated in hip dysplasia, Perth's disease, without the Tori Shelter Father and Local Soap, in Perth's disease don't do a virus osteotomy except if you've got a very good range of abduction, especially in females. Because when you do a virus osteotomy and an adduction osteotomy, you will limit further the, the abduction. That's why I have a range of abduction quite early until I have an advanced osteotomy. The prerequisites for success are a hip joint which is reduced in abduction and in turn, with or without internal rotation and a wide range of abduction. Uh, the next half time could be taken down to 105 in patients younger than 6 because even after doing a bulbous osteotomy, they still go into bulbous. But in the last in all the children and adolescents, as you sorry, but the whole neck shaft angle down to less than 120 degrees, otherwise you will end up with an abductor abduct burst and a turn the burst gate. In the planning model, the planning here is very, very important. أنت بدل ما تحطها بزاوية 90 درجة أنت عايز تحطها بزاوية أقل من 90 يعني أنت لو عايز تجيب فالنس 20 ديجريز بدل ما تحط زاوية 90 درجة هتحطها بزاوية إيه؟ Shaft, I achieve the 20 degrees I want to achieve. 
ودي حالات اللي عندها انكريز فيبرال انتي فيرشن ومشى من توي ومع سبلاكسيشن مور اون ذا رايت اند ذا ليفت النك شارت انجل 150 ديجريز وزي ما انتم شايفين بتعتاب لما يكون معاك انكريز فيبرال انتي فيرشن يو هاف تو جيت اكس رايز وذ انترنال روتيشن عشان تخفي اللسر تو كانتر از ماتش از يو كان سو يو جيت ذا ترو نك شارت انجل With that abduction of internal rotation, and you can see that the hip is better reduced in this position. With that, it planned in an osteotomy, when you have 20 degrees internal uh, abduction, you will get the hip concentrically reduced in that sort of position. But if you have an internal inter to contain 20 degrees varus, ma 20 degrees external derotation osteotomy, bottom to contain common stress. والعينه دي ضار من 20 ديز فالز بس قعدت يمكن سنه سنه ونص عندها صوت الرسول بير جيت. They take a long time to recover from this. وذا بعد السيرجري وال 130 ديجري نك شافت انجل بايلاترالي. دي حاله ثانيه عندها بايلاترال ديسبلازيا. انتم شايفين الامونت اوف سبلاكسيشن اللي موجود هنا هنا وديفيشنت كفرج انتيريلي. الاستابل اندكس النورمال بتاع الايج ده 15 ديجريز هنا 28 هنا 22 الهيب از بيتر ريديوس مع الابدكشن والانترنال روتيشن ذيس از افتر دوينج ا فارس دي روتيشن اوستيوتومي بيسايدز ا ديج اوستيوتومي ان ذيس كيسز سام تايمز يو نيد تو دو سمثينج اون ذا بيلفيك سايد تو جيت يور هيب ويل ويل سنتر ويل ريديوس ويل كفرد ده بعد تقريبا ثلاث سنين من العملية and you can see the amount of coverage has improved when you look at the right side the left side نفس الحكاية you can advance the amount of balls in the hand أكثر سن as well وده ال anterior coverage improved برضه after surgery الحمد لله and this is the girl cross leg negative trend in bird bilaterally طبعا دلوقتي in non-ambulant cerebral palsy children who are very very osteoporotic you have the locked plate في مخصوص pediatric locked plate with again an offset a medial offset عشان to maintain the proper mechanical axis شايفين ال offset بتاع ال plate ده locked plate وطبعا sometimes زي ما قلنا you need to do a proper dig osteotomy to cover the head anteriorly So that, yeah, at the end of the procedure, a dagger osteotomy up here, and a derotation varus osteotomy down on the femoral side. The take-home message is, in proximal femoral osteotomy, pre-operative planning is mandatory to arrive at the desired correction. The pediatric blade plate is a tough implant which provides adequate stability to allow early post-operative mobilization. The 130 blade plate could be used for derotation and vulgus, while the 90 degree blade plate is used for virus osteotomies. Thank you very much.